In this video we are going to check out the ASRock B760 Pro RS motherboard. This is the DDR5 model. There is also a DDR4 version of this motherboard. And we are going to have a look at the differences as well. Because there are quite a few, not just different memory, but also a few other things which I would like to point out. For those of you who are maybe considering to purchase uh, that one over this one. So let's have a look. First of all, uh, this one comes with 10 plus 1 plus 1 face power design, as well as a Gen 5 PCIe slot. Yeah. And this one, instead of 10, it has 7 plus 1 plus 1 phases, and it's limited to PCIe 4.0, so that's Gen 4. So let's open this one up and I'll tell you if I spot any other differences. Okay, we get all the accessories in a separate bag. And it is not much, but it's normal. With these cheap motherboards, uh, you get two SATA cables all the M.2 screws that you need, as well as the manual, which is nicely illustrated. Everything is good here. Let's put this to the side and check it out. It is packaged well, the same as the other one, same as the DDR4 model. And once you open it up, it is secured with zip ties on all four corners for, you know, that extra safe transportation. I'll cut that and be right back. Okay, so visually there is a very little difference between these two models. So that's the DDR5 model on the left and DDR4 on the right. Obviously, this one, you can see it has less less phases, so VRMs are stronger on the DDR5 model. And apart from that, you know, the position of SATA, we get two here and two here on the DDR4 model, you get all, uh, all four on the side there. Yeah, so that's it for the comparison. Let me open this up and we'll have a closer look at this one because I've done a video about this uh, Go check it out on the channel. It is up now If you're interested in having a closer look at this one but this video is about This thing right here Check it out in its full glory Yeah, even though this is a cheap motherboard. It still looks fairly nice, fairly, especially with this covering, not fully covering the I.O., but you know, it's still good to have that coverage, looks much nicer than if it was cut just here. Right, let's check it out, have a look at this. Yeah, this is a black glossy PCB, as you can see, it reflects a lot of light. And the same thing at the back, black, glossy. And now let's have a look at the I.O. There's protection film here, so let's peel that. Satisfying. Boom. All right. So what do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven USB type A ports and one USB type C. Display port, HDMI, 2.5 gigabit LAN and all the audio connections as well as uh, two holes for the Wi-Fi antenna 
that is if you decide to buy one of those um, Wi-Fi modules so it's still nice to have because look at this right here uh, yeah you just pop it in over here route the cables boom your antenna through there nice oh and I almost forgot to mention this uh, but this IO shield comes pre-installed I love that because uh, there's nothing more I hate than you know installing these IO shields I just hate it it's nice that it's pre-installed okay in terms of power delivery for the CPU we get two 8-pin connectors here and you know to cool that 10 plus 1 plus 1 phase power delivery system a couple of nice heat sinks these are quite big as you can see even the top one is a very significant you know very significant size for such a motherboard and there is also a heatsink for one of the NVMe SSDs. Check it, check it. It's not too thick, but it's enough. Because this is Gen 4 SSD, there are no Gen 5 SSDs for this model. So that's the other fast uh, M.2 slot, Gen 4, X4. So that's what uh, you should do. Pop your main M.2 SSD here, secondary here if you need it, and only then consider using this one because this one is Gen 4 X2. Okay, and as I mentioned previously, this has four SATA. If you are not using a fan hub, then you will be happy to learn that there are seven fan connectors on this thing, which is very nice. Two over here, another two here, uh, one over here for the rear exhaust fan and also two more down here very nice for RGB connections you get two uh, RGB LED and two addressable so that's uh, one of each here and one of each up here as for the memory, this supports DDR5 up to 7200. Opens up from both sides. Very nice. And you also have your front panel connections for USBs. And there you have it. B760 Pro RS. It is pretty good for the price. That's uh, one of the reasons I like ASRock they do provide us with some reasonably priced motherboards that perform well well for the most part because you know uh, no one is perfect sometimes some models are not as good but yeah i like this one because look at that it even comes with a reinforced pcie slot that's uh, reinforced with metal check it out Hold on. Let me. Why? Hold on. Why is it not focusing? Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. That's in focus now. Okay, yeah. So that is it for today. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more if you want to see more stuff like this. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.